Is a recusal from Justice Thomas necessary to preserve the integrity of the court? Let's discuss with Richard Painter tonight, former chief White House ethics lawyer under President George W. Bush, and now also a Democratic candidate for Congress in Minnesota's first district. In the current case with Justice Thomas, can you help us suss out material benefit? You have waded into these ethical issues for your whole career. I guess we can assume, I guess we really have to assume Justice Thomas knew that the text existed between his wife and Mark Meadows and that reputational harm probably isn't an issue. She was doing this work well before she met Justice Thomas. Uh, she's public about it. So she would be getting what, a legal benefit for him not recusing himself. Is there legal peril for texting Mark Meadows your opinions? Well, we aren't sure yet uh, what legal exposure uh, Jenny Thomas might have uh, in this uh, situation with respect to the rallies on January 6th, uh, the predominant one which did turn violent and became an insurrection. Uh, what we do know and what Justice Thomas almost certainly knew is that was that his wife was actively involved in the efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Uh, and in light of that, uh, Justice Thomas should have recused from all cases before the United States Supreme Court, including cert petitions involving the 2020 election, given the role that his wife was playing in seeking to overturn the results of that election. The fact that she was involved in that effort to that degree, particularly a degree where she is texting the White House chief of staff. Uh, he would need to recuse from all those cases, and he should have recused from all the 2020 election cases um, that were came before the court. Second, if there are any cases in the future involving the insurrection of January 6th, he must recuse from those cases whether or not his wife could be implicated. Help us understand, if you would, Richard, how far the Supreme Court spousal recusal issue goes. Like, for instance, if let's say my wife is a public school teacher and and a school voucher case comes before the, the court, you know, she would have job security on the line, enrollment on the line, maybe a paycheck on the line. Would I need to recuse? I would say probably not in that case. Uh, now, if it were a voucher program in a particular district uh, that were being reviewed and she worked in that district, uh, we, we might get into a, a, a closer uh, situation, a closer call. Uh, not all of these cases are easy uh, with respect to recusal, but some are clear. And I believe the uh, recusals required of Justice Thomas that I just outlined are very, very clear under these circumstances that they would be required. Final question then. As you said, Richard, you believe that Justice Thomas should recuse. Do you believe he will recuse? He's not easily pressured by crowds, uh, as we've seen in the past. Do you believe he will be impeached? Uh, we'll see what happens here. We'll see what the facts are. And we'll see if there is a case uh, which is presented to the Supreme Court involving the January 6th insurrection. Uh, so far, we have the most of the cases involve um, discovery and the ability of the January 6th committee to obtain documents from the Trump White House. And the court already weighed in on that. And Justice Thomas participated in that. So he's getting very close to the line here. Um, the next round of cases could involve criminal prosecutions of individuals who organized these rallies, particularly as such individuals encouraged participants of the rallies to engage in violent or insurrectionist conduct. Uh, the people prosecuted include everyone from pre the former president of the United States to perhaps his chief of staff or others organizing these rallies. But if she is at all close to this particular matter, um, that becomes a criminal case that ends up in front of the U.S. Supreme Court or any other case, including uh, additional uh, subpoenas that need to be enforced. Uh, Justice Thomas absolutely has to recuse. If he refuses to recuse, in situations where it's abundantly obvious he needs to recuse, that's where the Judiciary Committee can step in and uh, start to hold hearings with an eye to impeachment. And usually that is resolved. Um, without going through impeachment of a justice. You've been in the ethics world for a long, long time, but suddenly a lot of people are realizing recusal, messy, messy business. Richard Painter, thank you. Well, thank you very much.